Hello, general slutty audience. I am a fat ass. <laughs> Indeed he is. Hello, general asshole audience. I am your lord and savior, the asshole. I'm just a girl with tits. I wonder if any person named David has named their penis Goliath. I don't Only understand if they're the black. <laughs> <laughs> Even then, you know, or, or a white guy who's compensating for something. <laughs> You know, like... Why would someone want to name their penis, though? Be, it, it's, it's to give it an identity. Yeah, so Why does it need one? Sometimes, it's sometimes does it like, have a soul? <laughs> it it's a an part identity. of the body. So, I mean, some, <laughs> some, sometimes men, and even women, do name their genitals for some reason. I mean, if you've seen the movie Pitch Perfect, one of the girls uh, describes her uh, her vagina as, quote, he's a hunter. It is true. So, yeah, yeah, Actually, Pitch Perfect name. is also a really good movie if you're into singing and chick flicks rolled into one. I like that movie. It's a pretty loose chick flick, though. I mean, the main characters are women, yes, but it, it's relatable. Like, you can, you can watch that movie... As a guy. As a and ster- wants as a, to sing yeah. with it. Like, as a stereotypical guy who's just like, oh, no, I'm, I'm man to man. I, I, I want to go in and watch, you know, Sylvester Stallone kicking some guy's teeth in. You can watch this movie, and there's enough humor in it that you, that you could actually get something out of it. And the songs are really catchy. You will find yourself <clears throat> singing along with everyone. The one problem, though, is if you like the song uh, The Sign by Ace of Bass, you're going to hate it by the end of this movie because they sing it about three or four times. And it's actually quite point. awful. Yeah, it, I mean, it's not bad. It's just boring. Like, Wait, it's not. Is that? I saw the sign, oh, and man. it opened up my eyes, I saw the sign. Yeah, you are lucky good. you're far away, I want to punch you in the face. <laughs> I'll do it for you. <laughs> God, fuck me. That actually did hurt a lot. You, can welcome. I even it out? No, oh. fuck you. <laughs> can I? Fuck you. <laughs> I will even it out, thank you very much. Yes, because... David here has this thing where if he gets hurt on one side of his body, he has to even it out. Yeah. It, 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 uh, Tourette's is a magical thing, especially when you get a combination of OCD with it. Um, so yeah, you know, speaking of that, I find it kind of interesting how like a bunch of mental disorders nowadays are kind of becoming trendy. You know, like, how Tourette's was trendy a couple of years ago, you know, everyone was, like, thinking about it because of the South Park episode. Yes. Nowadays, it's kind of like Asperger's <clears throat> is the new trendy thing. I was like, oh, you're so brilliant, you're so, you know, oh, you're, you're shy and you're to yourself, but, you know, oh, you're so smart about it. Yeah, they're really smart, but at the same time, they have a lot of crippling social anxiety. Like, a lot of yeah. it isn't controlled, you know. It's not necessarily fun to go around with Asperger's, especially with a name like, of a Asperger's. Like, As- <laughs> like Asperger's, yeah. And if you if you did see uh, retarded cop, that basically just doesn't do Asperger's justice. Yeah, it, it's it requires a lot more patience than people think. It, it's it's just one of those cases where like you can't immediately see it. Like you can tell that there's something off about a person, but it could just be they're kind of shy or. You know, they're not really, they're, they can't really think on their feet when it comes to their words and shit. But, yeah, I, I don't know, I really don't know where I'm going with this. Something just, like that. Yeah, it's just, more, <laughs> no, not necessarily like that. So it's more like, a, I'm just rambling at the moment. It's just yeah, something that irritated me. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, but... I'm weird like that. Ramble, ramble, ramble. We're all weird. That's why we're sitting here doing a podcast about random shit. Yeah, that might, that may or may not take off. But hell, if it doesn't, we have the fun of trying. Even if it doesn't, we could still do it for fun. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, yeah th- this is even much... if we have one follower, one viewer. Hey, even one viewer would be better than nothing. Yeah, it'd be cool. Yeah, and <clears throat> I mean, good, bad. Positive feedback or go to hell, you faggots. I don't know. Yeah. It's just, as long as it's generating some form of feedback, it's okay. But on to what I said. That was just a uh, little translation of what normally transpires on the internet, and it kind of pisses me off. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. I don't understand, like, half the negative stuff. Because it's just like, I, I kind of get it. It's like, oh, you're over the internet, the other person 
you don't see them get yeah. affected, which has now kind of become yeah. this but like, I mean, norm I mean, to with qu- everything. To quote Crack.com, they made a really good point in the sense that trying to hide your identity on the internet is like trying to hide from water in the Pacific Ocean. Like, sooner or later, your shit's gonna catch up with you. Yeah. You know, yeah, and, and when it does, it's usually really fucking bad. And, well, oh no, I cursed on a podcast! We're gonna get a lot of shit for that uh, one! Yeah, yeah, God forbid we make a slightly racist comment, or, you know, we, as a joke, or we say the word fuck a lot... In fact, wasn't my, um, <clears throat> wasn't my If the Dude's Black comment yeah. on naming the penis Goliath, that was, that could have, that could be slightly racist, but it could that was be sli- a joke. Yeah, it could be slightly racist, but the fact is, when it comes to racist jokes, most of them, like, have some semblance of truth to them. Like, like, there was a recent study where they actually, where scientists actually went around and found the average largest penis size of, in, of the world's population. Number one was the Congo. Who happens to populate the Congo? African men. What col- what col- what color would you identify their skin as? Black. So therefore, one could logically say those black men have very large penises. Yes, and I think Venezuela was number two. That one kind of caught me off guard. Huh? It was a South American country. It was ah, uh, yeah. That that's yeah. But mm-hmm. anyways... So penises. <laughs> back to the dick, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any, by the way, if any uh, people who are watching this are named Mike, congratulations. <laughs> you are the butt of all of our jokes. <laughs> you should feel really happy about that's r- that. That's right, Mike. We're talking to you. We're talking through you. More specifically, we're talking through your dick. <laughs> and might I say, it is quite lovely. God damn it, dude! What? I didn't do anything. (laughs) Yes, you did! No, that was the audience (laughs) drooling over Mike's penis. (laughs) I'm just imagining, like, that one guy sitting at his computer, not really listening, like, having this on the background, and just going, like, like, hearing Mike's like, wait, what? 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 Are they talking about me? How do they know me? When did they get my contact information? What is going on? And what is this about my dick? Yeah, it's because like, you left a bad comment on the internet. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel I feel as though we may end up turning someone into a paranoid schizophrenic because of all of this. <laughs> but then again, that's probably a good thing, especially if they give us negative comments and give us bullshit for probably saying bullshit. But, yeah, just as a warning to all of you, if you give us any reason to abuse you through this podcast, rest assured, we will, will, and we will enjoy it.